What is going on everybody? Nick Stevens of Nick Stevens Gaming here and I'm gonna start doing a little series of tutorials on how to use my favorite software Streamlabs OBS to be able to stream to Twitch uh, which is my streaming platform of choice. I know there's like Mixer and YouTube and all like that but you know for simplicity's sake and for just the features that they offer my personal choice is Twitch. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is download Streamlabs OBS from streamlabs.com. I've already got streamlabs.com pulled up here and it is easy as just downloading from a drop down on your products here, Streamlabs OBS, and you'll download the software and install it. And then also uh, while you're on the site, you're going to want to go ahead and log in to Streamlabs with your Twitch so that the two will be able to talk to each other, which is going to come in handy for things such as your alert box uh, when people sub or they follow or anything like that, as well as setting up, you know, donations and all kinds of fun stuff like that. So once you have that all logged in, everything all downloaded, you will open up Streamlabs OBS and you'll also log in to OBS using your Twitch on there. So we'll just wait for that to pop up here. Type in your username and password. And you'll log in. Now it's probably gonna ask for a token. If you've set up two-factor authentication, which usually that's what it makes you do, it'll send a code to the phone that you have put on your Twitch account and you'll just enter in that code and then always click remember for 30 days because I'm lazy then you'll authorize Streamlabs OBS to have access to your Twitch account and yeah we're gonna have to wait for it to import all of these scene collections here I think it should already be done because they were already loaded on the computer I just logged out so I could show you guys but so now we've got all set up right here so we're logged in. You can see that we've got access to our chat room over here in the software. Um, if you're going to be streaming, I would highly suggest running a dual screen setup so that you can game on one screen, monitor your chat room and your stream on the other screen. This makes life a whole lot more simple. Um, and it keeps you from having to, you know, monitor it from your phone or, or anything like that. It just makes things a lot, a lot more streamlined. So to get everything, just the most basic thing set up here, um, first thing you're gonna want it to do is go into your settings and your stream. And your stream type, you're just gonna do keep it at streaming services. You're gonna drop down and choose Twitch as your streaming service. Always keep your server on auto because it will automatically find the lowest latency uh, server but you can see that there's one Dallas, Denver, Houston, all over. There's servers all over the world. So you'll just keep that on auto and it's gonna do it based on your ping and your location. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is enter in your stream key. Your stream key is very important. It is unique to you. It is kind of your fingerprint, I guess you could say, on, uh, on Twitch to show exactly who you are on there and so that it you know OBS knows where exactly to send your stream or what channel to send it to. The way that you're going to find that is you're going to go over to your Twitch channel. Go on to Twitch TV there dot TV and you'll click on your little icon there if you're already signed in. If not you'll go ahead and sign in. And you'll click on your icon there and go to your creator dashboard over in the top right hand corner and then it is easy as going to your channel settings and your stream key will show up as just a bunch of dots you can choose to show it if you want i would recommend not and i'm not going to going to for purposes of this video because it is very very uh i guess frowned upon to share your stream key because then anybody can stream anything to your or to your channel so you'll just do a quick copy of that there. It'll copy it to your clipboard. And then we're gonna go back over into Streamlabs OBS here. Back into our settings. 
and I'll just go and delete that out of there because it'll be blank. But then you'll just hit Control V, and that'll paste that into there, and then you are all done. Now, you've got your thing set up to Twitch. You've got it synced to Twitch. You're going to want to make sure that you're going to get the best possible uh, quality. One of the cool features of Streamlabs OBS is you can run the auto optimizer and it's going to determine your connection speed, your computer power, all different types of things. And, um, and it's going to actually auto optimize all of your settings for your you know, best to use for a computer without dropping a bunch of frames and things like that. Also, some other things that I would suggest that you do, just kind of a little pro tip, I guess, is to sit here and check, make sure the uh, confirmed stream title and game before going live is checked. So what's going to happen is before you go live, whenever you click it, it'll actually pop up a box with your stream title, what game you're playing, any tags that you want to use, anything like that, so you can change it at that point without having to actually go to Twitch and change it that way. So again, it just makes things a lot more streamlined and a lot more easy. Uh, also, I have navigate to live tab when going live, which that just means it brings up, it's gonna nav navigate to this tab. So it'll show your sub history, resubs, donations, and this kind of little alerts like that. And it actually, you know, puts your little preview down there in the bottom. You still have all of your pertinent information. Um, if you happen to miss a notification in your chat, or in your uh, in your stream, you know, whenever it pops up, you can't see it, it doesn't pop up in your chat, anything like that, then it is going to show up right over in here. So we've got our OBS all set up to go to, uh, to go to Twitch. The, the next thing that we're going to want to set up is scenes. So if you're wanting just the basic, basic thing, you're going to have your scene right here. We're gonna go back to our editor screen here and we're gonna have our sources. So what you're gonna to want to do is click on add source right here. And if you're wanting just your game capture, you're gonna click on game capture, double click it. And then what I do is I do a different game capture for each game that I play because well, it'll make sense in here in a little bit. We'll call this one American or actually, you know, we'll just call it ATS. All right, so we're gonna add that source. Now this is very, very, very important right here. Some people will like to do capture any full screen application. Personally, I don't. So what I'll go ahead and do is uh, we'll minimize this here really quick. Go to our desktop. Actually, you know what, we'll go to... Eh. Okay, we're gonna go to Steam right here. We're gonna pull up American Truck Simulator. And it's gonna launch the game, and there's a very important reason why we're doing this. So I've already got the game launched up right here, right? We're gonna Alt Tab out of that to go back to OBS because we are going to choose Capture Specific Window. Now, the reason that we have the game running is so that it can notice that it's running in the background so we're going to go here and we're going to see the american truck simulator we're going to choose that we're going to keep everything else just like it is and we're going to hit done so if you'll notice whenever we pull up obs here it still shows black it's because the game is minimized but as soon as i pull it up and then alt tab back out you can see that it pops back up there and all that good stuff Alrighty, so that's how you get just the very, very, very most basic game capture there. Um, your desktop audio should already be preset right here in your mixer. Another thing that you're going to want to set up is your microphone. Now, if you're like me and you have quite a bit of background noise, which if I get quiet here for a second, you can see that this little uh, the VU meter here continues to move. So that kind of makes for a distracting stream, you know. You want to do the best possible quality you can. And to eliminate that, it's as simple as clicking on your settings cog there. And you're going to put in a filter. Now it says no filters applied here, of course. So we're going to click the little plus button. 
Then our filter type is going to be a noise gate. And then I usually just 100% go with just the default, everything exactly like it is. I normally don't have to change anything, but you'll notice that it doesn't move when I'm not talking anymore. So what that does is it just cuts out all the background noise from a certain decibel level, but as soon as you start talking past that decibel threshold, then it's going to go ahead and pick that up. Gives you a lot more uh, high quality stream. Another thing that you'll want to do is in your mixer, in your settings there, you're going to want to make sure that your mic and aux, let's see here. Yeah, so it should already have your microphone and auxiliary uh, set up here. And you're going to want to go to your properties. If it doesn't, you can go to your properties and your device. And mine's going to be microphone six, the USB audio codec. And that is going to choose my particular microphone that I use right now through my USB mixer. So that is the first in a series. Like I said, this is the very, very, very basic on how to get things tied in. Um, next one I'm going to do is going to be uh, setting up scenes, sources and scenes and things like that. But until then, I will uh, see you guys next time. Make sure to follow me on Twitch at the link down below in the description and stop by, leave a follow and kind of see uh, the little setup that I've got on my stream. But until then, I will see you guys later. Peace.